Hi, it's been a while. It's been weeks, I think, at this point, and I'm not going to apologize because everybody's going through it right now and everybody's managing that differently. Whatever it is that you need to do to take care of yourself, I hope that you're doing that. If it is laying in bed all day, if it is cleaning your house like a mad, crazy person, I've done both. I've had both kind of days. I've had really productive days. I've had really unproductive days. Today is, I think, a productive day. I actually have makeup on, and that is because Caitlin and I are actually filming something today. Don't freak out. <laughs> we are filming individually from our respective houses for a sponsorship with a local shopping center in the area, and it is to promote shopping local, shopping at small businesses, so that they can stay afloat and so that some of our favorite stores are still there when all of this is over and so it's something that we're really excited to do because these are stores that we would normally shop at anyways and we are going to be filming a video on how you can virtually shop these stores many of them are doing free shipping you can buy from instagram and so we just are filming a video to show how you can still support these local businesses even though we can't physically go to the stores and um, those will be featured on IGTV. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're following us at our time of the month, especially if you live in the Baltimore area or surrounding area. We are working with Green Spring Station. I needed to get myself ready for that today. Today is the first time that I've put makeup on in almost two weeks. There's something to be said about the ritual and the routine. For me, putting on makeup was an almost everyday occurrence. Even if I just wore a little bit, it was something I did almost every single day. And so to do it today was just, um, I don't know, it just made me feel like I was getting ready as if it were a normal day and that was kind of nice. So maybe it's something I'll do a little bit more of. I don't really know. I'm hoping that I am coming out of my lull. I've been trying to keep my mind busy on things that are not digital. I've hardly even been watching YouTube. I have watched some TV, but more movies, which is really strange. Mike and I were talking about that the other day. We don't typically watch movies, but lately we've been trying to watch one every single night. Um, I'm trying to be on my phone less, trying to read less news. I'm trying to just absorb what I need in very short increments, and I feel like that's helped a lot. I know that there were some comments about pre-filmed videos that Caitlin and I had posted. If that seemed insensitive. I am sorry, and that was never our intention. It would never be our intention to come off that way. Those videos actually were filmed in February, and you know, we made an announcement on our Instagram page and also on the community section of our YouTube channel, which if you didn't know that exists, it does. That's where we typically make announcements, and in the middle of March, we did post something saying, hey, you might see some new videos from us. We're gonna try to keep things normal, as normal as possible on the channel because you know, we did have some stuff pre-filmed and I, I was pretty grateful for that because it would make the transition not seem as jumpy. I think that that rubbed a couple people the wrong way and I've just had to tell myself, I cannot please everybody. We get comments that, you know, we miss you guys, where are you? And then we get comments like, do you really think this is appropriate right now? So it's really hard. It's really, it's actually impossible to please everybody. And so I've had to grapple with that a little bit. It's been a struggle and that's my realization. I can't please everybody. I know in my heart that I mean well and I am thinking of every single person on the front lines. I have family members that are out there working and friends and that is not lost on me at all. So again, however you need to deal with it, however you need to manage your mental health, I hope that's what you're doing and you're taking care of yourself and others. But yes, I know that my heart is right, my mind is right, Caitlin is the same way. A lot of people are looking to YouTube videos or Netflix or Hulu for just a little bit of a mental break and that's kind of what we hoped to give you. I don't wanna sit here and talk about COVID-19 for 30 minutes because it is depressing and that's the reality of the situation. So I am putting that out of my head for now and we're just gonna carry on. And whenever I can vlog, I'm gonna vlog. Whenever I don't feel like vlogging, I won't do that. So you're gonna see multiple days, probably in one video. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's a little bit of an entertainment break for you. 
Again, not much has changed since the last time I checked in. I'm doing a whole lot of cooking and baking, more so now than I was then. We've been trying to go on daily walks around our neighborhood, which has been really helpful. Even if it's just to get outside for 20 minutes, we've been really lucky that most often the weather has been really nice and you know we've been trying to take advantage of that. We've gotten a lot of home projects done, which I'm really excited about. I've been doing some crafting, which I had gotten away from for years, and that feels really good. It just helps my it helps my mental state so much, and I didn't realize how much I was missing that component of my life until I started using that part of my brain again, so that's been really nice. I am trying to focus on the positives that can come out of this situation. I I love being home. I I love my house and there are so many things around here that I've been wanting to get done and do for myself and for like just the betterment of our home. And so I'm trying to look at the positive and see that it's, you know, when else am I going to get this time? Y you never know. I may never get it again. So I'm trying to utilize it to the best of my ability. So I'll show you some of the stuff that we've done around the house. Mike has done a lot and I'm really grateful for that. I've ordered new bedding today. We need to add some color to this room. We've lived here for almost four years and this bedroom, you guys, this bedroom is a sad state. This is a campaign dresser. I will show you its matching counterpart downstairs. I refinished it and it turned out beautifully. I've been meaning to do this for two years. So I'm gonna try to tackle that this week and I will show you bits and pieces of that if I, not if, when I do it, I have to do it because it looks so bad. I'm painting it navy, I'm getting a different lampshade. We got really bright bedding. I got some new curtains. I think that this room is gonna look really nice and warm and welcoming and that's what it's needed. I don't know, I feel like there's so much to catch you up on. So, hi, how are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> I would love to hear what you're doing to pass the time if you're working. Thank you, we appreciate it. Yeah, nothing else really super new to report. I have a bra on today. That's something that hasn't happened in weeks. <laughs> Feels a little bit weird. I'm like, wow, that's where my boobs should be? Eesh. This is the matching counterpart to that cream dresser that I showed you upstairs. I had refinished this, I sanded it down. There's a little bit of a glare on it, but it's a true navy color. I got both pieces together at Goodwill for $8, and it's an actual true piece of furniture. It's not like Ikea particle board stuff. It's like heavy duty wood, and I just think it's beautiful. I love it. I've seen this online, very similar campaign style dressers for like $800, and I just feel like if you look at thrift stores, I swear you can find good stuff. I mentioned that I had been trying some new crafty stuff. And this was one of the things that I, I'm trying. This is my first ever cross stitch effort. As you can see, I uh, down here was like where I was really finding my footing. And then when I got to the flowers, I feel like I did a little bit of a better job. I'm working on my second piece now and it's looking so good. It's just kind of amazing how much difference there is in just one piece. So I'll show you that later. I found this on Amazon. I've been wanting to learn for a really long time and I thought I'll just teach myself during the uh, quarantine process. And I'm really excited because again, it's just a nice mental break. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with these little embroidery hoops when I'm done, but for now it's just gonna sit on this table. I mean, what do people do with these? You tell me. Another big improvement we've made is that we got rid, not rid of, but we moved that cream rug. It used to be that rug, I'll show you, in here. And A, it wasn't big enough. B, I didn't really love the color in here. And C, it's like Barkley's favorite place to throw up. And it's, it was a cream rug, so every little detail showed. This is also a really high traffic area because our front door is right there and you can walk in through here. So I wanted something with a pattern and something that was low pile so that I could easily clean it. I need to get a non-slip rug pad under it because it is really slippery and movable, but I think once I get that laid down, it'll be perfect. I could not be happier with this. I think it looks excellent in here. It was about $100 on Rugs USA, and it's a six by nine rug, so it's pretty large. And then the rug that was in here, we actually just moved to our dining room, which I think looks pretty okay. Don't mind all this mess on the table. It's like my office and nail painting station, and I'm gonna be using that to film our call in a little bit so cream isn't the best color under a dining room rug but i didn't want to get rid of it so we just moved it somewhere this is uh barclay's little office <laughs> we've made some additions to our bar I'm, I'm sure many people have at this point we've been making a lot of margaritas and gin and tonics which has been nice i got some new snake plants this is just a piece of one 
I split it up because it was so large. We planted some stuff outside. It probably seems like I'm just rattling things off to you left and right, and that's because I am, because I haven't seen you in so long. So it's like, I forget what I've shown you and what I haven't. I don't think I've shown you any of this because this is all pretty recent within the last couple of weeks. Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you? So we just returned from a walk, our daily neighborhood walk. Not daily, but as much as we can, we try to get out. We took Barkley with us today. It's hard to walk with him because he is getting so old and he finds it difficult to walk further than like a mile. We've planted a bunch of stuff outside. Let me show you. This is not normally how I would plant herbs because I like them to have space, but we have basil, chives, rosemary, oregano, and dill. And then this thyme has been growing consistently for at least three years, I think is what we've determined. We've never done anything to it. We just take off what we need as we're cooking. We don't cover it during the winter. We don't trim it back. You want to sell our house for cash? Totally. I just got a text message for it. Did ya? It's not spam or anything. This is the other part of that snake plant that I was showing you inside. The local nursery was doing free curbside pickup for orders and they did 50% off snake plants, I think because it looked a little worse for the wear, but it'll come back and be beautiful. And Mike is getting ready to stay in our deck when the weather finally warms up permanently. Yep. Also, this uh, welcome mat is from Target. I think it's less than 13 bucks, but it says, hope you brought wine. Uh, here's how Mike's hairdo has turn, turned out since I cut it two weeks ago. Not good. It's not looking good. You got some real weird cowlick right here. Yeah. What is that? That's the stuff that didn't get cut. No, no, no. It's a line going this way. Oh, just from wearing a hat, maybe? Maybe. Um... I mean, it's looked worse. Thanks. You're welcome. And what have you made? Old fashioned. It looks good. Three cherries? Yeah, they're all tangled together, so they just got all Why do they them. have some white shit on them? I don't know. I think Ooh. it's like the sugar that sort of... Could be mold. Could be mold. Could be mold. Mm. Mike is whipping up one of our Hello Fresh meals. We've still been enjoying that. I did cancel it because <laughs> we've made so many big meals lately that have yielded a lot of freezer meals. And I want to eat up what we have before we continue to supplement with that. Every single thing that we've had though has been great. Yeah. We would totally recommend it. Eat it over and over again. I'd give you a discount code, but they're not doing that right now because uh, of COVID-19. So still, I mean, we paid full price for it and I think it's worth it. Mike and I got a ham from Aldi for Easter. It was huge. It was nine and a half pounds, which is crazy for two people. But we learned that Barkley really loves ham. Is it okay for them to eat? Yeah, it's pork. That's true. He has a beef allergy, so I feel like I can't really give him a lot of really fun treats. So if he wants to eat ham, I'm gonna let him eat ham because I'm always a little happy butt. Come here. So pretty. Oh, I didn't even have to ask you. That's a nice balancing job you're doing. That's it, that's all I have. Thanks. Mike is making dinner tonight. Surprise, surprise. Mexican chicken and rice bowls with salsa fresca and lime sour cream. All of the lime sour cream will be for me. Right? Mm -hmm. What? Where do you have this? Nope. <gasps> I haven't these yet. Oh, ooh, I'm excited for all of them. I am too, actually. Cherry balsamic, bavette steak with herb, fingerling potatoes, and roasted Brussels sprouts. I think I might be most excited for this one. And then the other one that we need to make is lemon chive chicken with garlic mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. Also looks absolutely delicious. Other recent kitchen developments, I've been making sourdough starter. I made my first loaf of bread ever, and it was... Amazing. Are you just saying that? Yep. I love fresh bread. You're not looking at me and saying it. So Amazing. Kind of scared me. It was really good. Mike painted our front door. After we've owned this paint for probably eight months, 
we had had really lofty goals of painting it last year and then Mike had a go have like a mini stroke and that really derailed a bunch, yeah, AKA a bunch of races that he wanted to run. Anyhow, we've had this paint for like eight months and just life got in the way and we didn't get a chance to paint the door and I am a very creative person. Guess what's not my forte? Painting surfaces. Walls, terrible. Ceilings, awful. Doors, I could have done it, but it wouldn't have been good. Furniture, I can paint. I don't know what it is about it. So Mike painted our front door and it's beautiful and I want to show you. The color is called Northern Juniper and is an HDTV home paint color that we bought at Home Depot, right? Yep. I thought it was Valspar, but it's not. It's HGTV Home. Our door was originally black. We did not prime it. We just scrubbed Where's by we. I say we. I mean Mike. Mike did all of it because he's an amazing person. I helped tape and I helped paint the initial layer. Come here. No, no. He scrubbed the door and then we did three coats of the Northern Juniper paint. And I think it turned out beautifully. I am so in love with it. So in love with it. What the fuck is happening right now? This is the other embroidery project I've been working on. I'm about halfway through. I still have a lot of the flowers to go. I will say I'm a bit more confident this go around and I've, I've definitely learned a bit more about the stitching. There are, I don't know, probably five or six different stitches that I've learned at this point. I'm just teaching myself. I'm doing a lot of YouTube searching because the instructions that came with this kit from Amazon, unfortunately, were not very great. And so I've just watched a few tutorials and they've been really helpful. I've found this actually super enjoyable and super relaxing and I think it's beautiful. So I think this is something that um, I definitely want to continue. Apologies for the super loud fan, but our bathroom light has an automatic fan that comes on. And so I'm just gonna have to enunciate. I just washed my hair. I'm trying to wash my hair maybe twice a week during quarantine. That's really not any different than the routine or schedule that I try to follow when we're not self-isolating. I feel like this is a really good time to bust out your hair treatments and masks to take advantage of the extra time that you might have. So I just wanted to show you the things that I use after I get out of the shower and wash my hair to kind of help make my hair more manageable because it's very tangly and to add a little bit of um, brightness to my brassy blonde. So I highly recommend investing in like a hair specific hair towel. These are essentially like turby twists. I do have a turby twist, but I also found a two pack of these from Target probably five years ago. This is all I use for my hair. It's a microfiber towel. It's more gentle in your hair and it also absorbs a lot of water. So I use that and I let it sit in my hair until you know, it's no longer dripping wet. Then the first step that I do before brushing is spray it with the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. Even if I'm not blow drying my hair, this is something that I like to use because I think it helps with detangling. It also smells really nice, it feels really nice in the hair. And if I do decide later before bed if to blow dry my hair, it will already have served as my heat protectant. This is something I've talked about so many times on our channel. It is one of my favorite hair products of all time. I continuously repurchase it. So I just kind of lift and spray that all throughout. It smells amazing. I also like flip upside down. So I don't know, maybe 10 sprays all throughout my hair. At this point, I try to finger comb it because if I go right in with my brush, even though it's a wet brush, it just kind of rips through my hair. So I finger comb it gently. And then to help with the brassiness that I'm facing, because as I said, my hair is, hasn't been highlighted in at least six months, I'm using the Kerastase Blonde Absolute, Blonde Absolute Cicoplasma. I don't know it's like a leave-in conditioner that helps with helps fight the brassiness of your hair so I do two pumps into the palm of my hand I rub my hands together like this and then I just start kind of raking it through 
evenly. I get it in my roots, but I don't focus it in my roots. I'm mainly working on the top layer of hair, like mid shaft to ends. Flip my hair over. And at this point, I brush my hair and I always use a wet brush. I have multiples. This one is like caked with dry shampoo, but that's just the way it is. So as you can see, I can kind of just start brushing root to tip, whereas before I had applied any of those products, I would have had to start down at the base. And sometimes I'll get a knot and I'll have to start at the bottom, but you don't want to rip your hair because wet hair is at its most fragile state. So you just want to be gentle. I'm not a hair expert, but this works for me. So that's kind of it for my hair routine. At this point, I will let my hair air dry at least 50%, 75% is ideal before I would go in with any sort of blow drying. I usually hit the front at least with a little bit of heat because I have a very natural cowlick that I don't really like to combat. And so I feel like if I hit it in the beginning, like day one of hair washing, and I blast it with the heat and a round brush, it kind of helps set that in place for the rest of the days before I wash it again. The mask that I'm wearing is Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This is a sample size that I got as like a free, I don't know, a, bon a free bonus in another Origins purchase. I have put this in a favorite masks video. I'm still using the same sample. I think I've gotten at least 10 uses out of it, which sounds insane, but it's like the never ending tube. I would absolutely repurchase this when it runs out. It is a nice clay mask that dries quite hard. Like I just put it on maybe five minutes ago and it's already dry. And it has these little exfoliating beads set in the mask so that when you rinse it off and you gently, it's exfoliating your skin a little bit more. The clay is helping to dry up any impurities. I'm getting my period, so I'm just trying to kind of combat anything that's coming ahead of the game. My nails are looking pretty torn and tattered from like doing a lot of gardening lately and just being quite rough on them. I am going to give myself a gel manicure, which I haven't done in a really long time. I have showed, I've actually filmed an entire video and written a blog post showing how I use this kit. This is the same kit that I've been using for almost three years. It's the Red Carpet Manicure Pro 45 kit. I have some regular nail polishes in here too. Um, it does not work with regular nail polishes. You have to buy gel. So I just kind of throw all of my tools in here, but this is the light itself. Do I want to do springy or do I want to do nude you can tell what colors i really like <laughs> lots of pinks and corals and reds i think i'm going to go with oolalicious it kind of reminds me of cajun shrimp and this is kind of one of my signature colors i like to wear a red or a really deep orangey red on my nails quite often so i am going to paint my nails while i watch jeopardy and then i'm going to work on my cross stitching i'm now a grandma this is just what I do now and I'm okay with it <laughs> I need just like a slow night and both of these things like painting my nails doing cross stitch it just takes my mind off of stuff it keeps my mind from racing I hope you guys are all doing well hopefully there will not be too much you know too much longer of this and I will see you soon bye <laughs>